not one, yes two, coming again at you with another video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hope you can hear me. My mic is going to die. I was supposed to charge it <laughs> last video and I failed to do so. So uh, yeah, we'll try and make this quick. It shouldn't be a long video anyway. But um, happy new year in advance to you and your loved ones, those you care about. Happy new year. Um, we made it. This, we live to see another year. You know, our purpose isn't our, our reason for being here is what the reason is, you know, and we have to fulfill, fulfill our purpose while we're here. If you don't know what your purpose is, talk to God and find out what that purpose is. I found mine. You find yours. But what a blessing. What a blessing, man. We're, we're, we've been through a lot. You know, 2023, I don't know about you, but for me, it was it was weird. It was very, very weird. Um and I'm looking forward to 2024. I'm hoping 2024 will be better. And um, I hope I hope you're thinking the same way as well. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to say thank you. If you're subscribed to my channel, um, close to being monetized, as I said before, uh, for your commenting. Again, the commenting, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Whether positive or negative, it means the world to me. For you to take your time out and actually just write something on my channel because there's tons of channel, tons of other uh, content creators making content. And the fact that you communicate with me, it means a lot. It means you have an opinion and you're willing to share with me and others. So thank you for that. Um, also, this is going to be uh, three months, the 12th of January. So we're going to take this down, put the aloe in it, the avocado and other stuff, you know, wash it and whatnot, and then get it rebraided. So if you want to see that, then let me know down below or I'll just do it anyway. <clears throat> but anyways, let's get into this video, man. Please like, share. If, if this video isn't for you, if you're someone who doesn't eat Chinese food, share it with somebody who does. Don't just look at this video and be like, I already knew this and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Try to help somebody else. All right. So top five reasons, in my opinion, why you should stop eating Chinese food in no particular order. Number one, I'm going to say MSG, monosodium glutamate, which is a man-made chemical. You know, it, it could call, it causes headaches. Um, it, it's pretty much like an additive, addict, addictive. Um, you become addicted to it. It's one, it's one thing Chinese people use to put in their Chinese food to, to get you hooked. Um, MSG is also in chips, a lot of other like junk food, snacks, and it's, it's just not good for you. Again, I said headaches as well, and it's not good for women who are bearing of children, you know, women who are pregnant, it's not good for them as well. So, you know, that's just a main reason to stay away from it. And I know some Chinese places, some say no MSG, but you can't even trust that. You know, that's just a marketing gimmick, you know, because that's one thing that, I, that I've started to see with like places like, um, uh, it's, it's the Chinese place you usually see in a mall and their food is usually like in, in, in like bowls, like metal bowls. I can't think of the name right now. It's been such a long time since I've been there, but I want to say Panda Express or similar to that. You start, I've started to see Panda Express in my local malls. And uh, I started to see signs of no no MSG, but you can't trust that. You can't believe that because, you know, you know it's in the food. And the reason why we'll get into when we talk about the other four, but yeah, MSG is just very dangerous. Like I said, it's a man-made chemical. It was designed to keep you hooked. It was designed to give you headaches, um, and it is designed over time to affect women who are who are bearing of children. Again, as I said, and given want to have children. Is is designed to have effects on on pos on not allegedly um, on their on their birth. So it's something you definitely want to stay away from, and that's why in general home cooked meals. You know you can make your own Chinese style dishes at home, and it really doesn't take much. It's really not that expensive. You just a lot of people are just lazy, and they just want to go out and get something while they're out because they're out instead of getting the ingredients and um cooking it at home and it gives you something to do you know why do you keep going out saying you want it's boring there's nothing to do but go out to eat and do this and you know it's fun to actually get a meal with your family and try to make it and learn how to cook you know that's actually fun you know and that's something that you could do it's entertaining you could record it and make a video out of it you know and laugh and have a good time and enjoy the meal and rate the meal as a family all right so that's one of the reasons why you should stop eating Chinese food is the MSG. Again, it's, it's dangerous. It's a man-made chemical and it's dangerous. It's super bad for you over time. So second reason why you should stop eating Chinese food is because they don't like you. You know, you ever call a Chinese place and they just sound rude, you know, and just like they have no respect for you. Like they want to qu qu quickly hurry up, hurry up and then hang up, you know, 
And especially when you're in the hood. If you ever grew up in the hood, then you already know what I'm talking about. You know, they, they look at you like you got six heads. You know, that what what you want, you know? They always try to trying to rush you. And not for nothing, I really feel like they racist. Like I feel like Chinese people are one of the worst, most racist people. You know, a lot of people think white people are racist, but and of course, due to what we we've seen and been through, yes, they are. But Chinese people are they're like right behind them when it comes to racism. They really are. So uh, Chinese people are very rude. You know, I've even had some of them hang up on me when I was trying to finish my order. I haven't finished my order, and they just hang up right in my face. I'm like, hold up, I wasn't even done yet. You know, like I get it, you may be busy, but you know, I'm spending money with you. I'm a customer. Don't try to rush me off the phone. You know what I'm saying? And don't let them mess up your order or something like that. You mess up your order and say, oh, this is not what I order. I want something else. You know, they'll try to call you. I've been called a scammer before that I'm trying to scam and get free food or this or that. You know, comment down below your experiences. You know, there's been times I order takeout and I ask for extra duck sauce. I was like, I'm willing to pay for it. It's going to be extra duck sauce when I was younger. Because I've been, it's been years. I, I, I say honestly, like probably like two years since I've stopped eating that crap. I don't eat that crap. But um, yeah, I remember that. And they didn't bring my duck sauce and they actually charged me for extra. So it was just like, dang, man, I just feel like they're really rude. They're really racist, you know, on the phone or even in person. I'm, I'm always feeling rushed. I'm always feeling looked at sideways, crazy, you know, I just feel like they just really don't care. And there's so many of them in the hood. There's so many Chinese restaurants in the hood. And it's like you thriving off of, off of my money, off my community's money. You know, how dare you treat me with respect? I mean, with disrespect. How dare you? But I don't know. That's just that's just the way they are. And that's just the main reason why I feel like, especially men, melanated people, us as melanated people, we have to stop spending money with them. And you have to, like, again, you have to realize why their food is so addictive, as I said in the, in the for the first reason, because of the MSG. Fried chicken, nobody makes fried chicken better than melanated people. Why you keep going to them freaking Chinese people getting the fried chicken? And now I keep seeing, uh, I've seen videos about this, this type of sauce, this orange sauce, mumbo sauce, they calling it. All that is is sweet and sour sauce. That's what we call it. It's, it's sweet and sour chicken usually comes with the 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 um the boneless chicken, but the with the sauce on the side. And they call it a mumbo, all these type of names. Man, you don't know what's in that sauce. I'm telling you, what's in that sauce is the tons of sugar, soy sauce, and MSG and food coloring. It's horrible for you. Corn syrup, I'm sure, is in there as well. So you gotta you gotta stay away from that stuff, man. You gotta st stay away from those people, man. Those people put bad ingredients in it, and they don't care. They don't care about the Americans. They just care about making money. They don't care about you. They just want your money. Hurry up and buy. That's their mentality. They rude. They racist. They don't care about you. So that's the second reason why you should stop eating Chinese food. Third reason why you need to stop eating Chinese food. Is because most of these Chinese places they keep the oil in the in the back with the trash can, right near the trash can. That's where they keep the grease and the oil that they cook the fried chicken in. They cook the egg rolls in. They cook the fr cr fried crab ragoons in. Uh, what other other what other fried stuff they got? Some of some of them have apple sticks. Those are deep fried. If you're fried shrimp, whatever whatever fried stuff you could think of that comes from a Chinese place. It's in the nasty oil, the nasty grease, and that's usually more nine times out of ten by the uh by the by the trash can, right in the back. Cause that's the only place they could keep it because it's so nasty and so oily, and there's bad oils too. All the bad oils you could think of: canola oil, so soybean oil, you know, the generic oils. Excuse me, one second. All right, we back. So another very important reason. This is gonna be number four. We done, we done talking about the oils. Number four is going to be why you should stop eating Chinese food is because they don't eat what they serve you. They do not eat what they serve you. Let that sink in. You don't see nothing wrong with that. You ever go to the mall in a Chinese place? You ever see them eating? They eating some type of soup noodles or, you know what I'm saying? Or some type of rice dish, but maybe like soup, anything in a soup and they eating it with chopsticks. They don't eat that Chinese food crap that they serve you. Why is that? 
you should be worried. Any other place you go, you, you go see to a, go to a pizza place, you go to any other restaurant, any other family owned business, you'll see sometimes eating their own food. But the Chinese people, never. They eating something totally different. And it's like a soup or some type of rice or noodle dish. You should be worried. Why are they willing to serve that to us, but they won't serve that to themselves and their own children won't eat it either? Why is that? Smiling at you, looking you right in your face while they're serving it to you. You, you want more rice, more rice? Extra rice, extra noodle. You want egg roll, egg roll. They have no problem serving that crap to you, but they eat something else and they stay thin. They look, they in shape. You never really see a fat uh, Asian person because that's what they are at the end of the day. Whether it's all oh, if they're from China or Japan or whatever, they're Asian, Asian American at the end of the day. You never see them. The Chinese people that serve you this food, you never see them too fat. They always thin, real thin, because they're not eating that crap. That crap fattens you up. It's meant to keep you overweight, especially if you're eating that crap and not working out and going to the gym. Especially if you got diabetes that runs in your family or you possible to have it. That's adding to it, eating that stuff. The sauce they glaze the, the chicken with and the spare ribs and whatever else you're eating. It's crazy. All right, let's get into the last reason because I got it in this video. It's longer than what I wanted it to be. Number five, the number fifth reason why you should stop eating Chinese food is because they, be they, be they believe in eating rodents. They have no problem serving rodents to you. I'm from, New I'm from New Haven, Connecticut. I remember years back, this is probably like, maybe like, probably like between 10, 15 years ago, doctors were being served cat and dog from a local Chinese restaurant. The restaurant had to get shut down because they were getting sick. And they did some investigation and they found out they were serving this crap to doctors and they knew it. They knew these doctors were coming from the hospital. They were coming in their uniforms on their break and come and pick up food. And they would smile to them. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good to see you. How's your family? How's everything? Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 You talk to them. They like, they go, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Like they're trying to rush you. No problem serving you cat and dog. Look it up. If you don't already know, Chinese people in their country, Asian American people, however you want to label them, call them. They eat bugs and, and worms and all types of stuff. Live, too, sometimes. It's a delicacy to them. So ha they have no problem serving them to you. You could look it up. You see cat. You see dogs in cages, cats in cages. They have no problem serving that crap to you. There's plenty of videos online where you've seen it, where people don't, uh, local citizens don't pull cats from the back and rats from the back. They even served rats in New York before. They'll take a rat and shave it down and, and cut the tail off. And cook it real nice and, and serve it to you. Chop it up, put the sauce on it. You won't even know what you're eating. You'll be like, why is it so chewy today? So chewy. Because you're eating rat. They just took the rat. They cut the tail off. They shaved it, skinned it real down. Now he's boiled, boiled it, chopped it up or whatever they did, chopped it up and put the sauce on it. Made it to the shape, shaped it as good as they can. And you ate it thinking it was, uh, thinking it was steak. Thinking you ate steak and peppers, usually eating rat peppers. <laughs> and it's not funny. It's not funny, but I'm laughing. But, but it's crazy. It's real out there. It's real when the, these, these Chinese people, man, they all in the hood, as I said before. You can't trust them. Even in the, even in the suburbs, man, you can't trust them Chinese people. Stop eating that crap. It's not good for you. It's really not. You can't trust those people, man. Chinese people do not care, man. They, I, I gave you all the reasons why. Pick which reason is more, most important to you. Pick a reason if you're still a, a Chinese food eater, a takeout Chinese food. You shouldn't be eating out really too much nowadays anyway. I say pizza. Pizza is fine here and there. But besides that, you really should be eating out like that. All right? Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this. Start the new year right. Give up the Chinese food. These Chinese people don't care about you, man. They just want your money. They'll serve you food that's suspect. Where you could be eating freaking uh, some type of rodent, whether it's a cat, dog, raccoon, squirrel, whatever, whatever they catch, you know, whatever they, or whatever they buying from some dirty market. They're not very clean at all because they don't eat what they're serving to you. If they're not eating it themselves, why would they care how, cl how clean it is or what type of oils they use? They're going to use the cheapest ingredients. And why is the Chinese food so cheap? You got to think about that, too. It's cheap for a reason. It's cheap for a reason. Remember that. Chinese food is so cheap and you're getting a lot of food, a lot of rice, a lot of this, a lot of that. Tons of salt. The rice, they fry the rice in the same freaking uh, wok where they put the oil on it. The oil, the bad oils to keep it going. You're putting that into your body. 
got to do better, man. We going into the new year. You got to do better starting a new year. Start putting on bad oils into your body. It's literally, you got to look at your body, ladies, fellas, you got to look at your body like an, a brand new car off the lot. And you're supposed to put this specific oil into it. And that's good oil. That's like avocado oil. That's, that's extra virgin olive oil. You're supposed to be putting that, that good oil into it. And you putting the bad oils. What's going to happen to that car over time? You're going to keep, you're going to have problems. It's going to, it's going to eventually break down. You're going to end up in the shop and you in it, and the car ended up in the shop. It's like you ended in the hospital. You don't want that. I'm telling you over time, that's what can happen. All right. So do better. And don't say, we can't say if you knew better, because now you know better if you watch this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. And share it when somebody needs to hear it.